In this training video, we're going to look at the project summary task, but also looking at the summary tasks of a project, like advertising and interview phase, but how they can be condensed so you only see the headings instead of the detail, and how they can be expanded, but also how you can add tasks to them. So we're first going to look at the project summary task. So this is on the format tab and it's under the show hide section of the ribbon and then you can display the project summary task. So this then shows the duration of the project as well as the start date and finish date as displayed in this example. Now we can also then with summary tasks we don't always have to show all the detail so you could go into meetings or reviews of a project by minimizing the summary tasks and then you could maximize them but if you had lots of these summary tasks you wouldn't want to be doing this all the time you might say well would there be a quicker way of minimizing the summary tasks without having to click through them one by one we can do this through the view tab and by going through the outline area and we can then click on hide subtasks and that highlights the one that hides the one you select we can show subtask we can go to level one for all subtasks so there's different ways of doing it and level one now takes to the highest level and has now in effect got rid of the detail to go back we can then click on the option all subtasks so you've got the option of doing different things to outline but when they're selected you can just hide the subtask click on the arrow and that will also hide it you can expand it go back to outline you can show all subtasks so this is the kind of thing you can do with these summary tasks now, if we look at the project duration of the project summary task, we might want to enter in a new task, say, for example, into advertising. And say in this case, it's a market research task. So we want four days, say, for example, for market research to go in above plan advertising and for it to be a finished start link with plan advertising. This takes a little bit of doing, a little bit of understanding. So when you're in the summary task, I'm very careful of this when I'm modifying them. So personally, I would unlink any task that's connected to the summary task. So I know that to HR handover is connected to the summary task. So I, I would break this away. I, I, I call this isolating. So I would isolate the summary task by itself. So I would go to the highlight the two tasks and I would use the break chain. Then I'd go to the Organized advertising and advertising role, and I would break that away because now I know what I've done. Now I've now isolated advertising by itself. So when I break the chain between organized advertising and plan advertising, if I click on advertising now, it minimizes by itself. So everything is now by itself as I'd want it to be and broken. Now I'm going to look at putting in a new task. Now in a summary task, you can add a new task into the summary task with it still being a summary task. Personally, because I'm very careful and safe when I do this, I actually get rid of the summary task and reset the summary task. So I'm gonna get rid of the summary task in this example. Now I'm going to insert the new task which I want in this position here. I can right click and insert. Then I'm going to call it market research. And I want it to be four days. But I want it to be a four day and a, fi and a finish the start link with plan advertising. So I'll highlight four and five and I'll choose the chain to link them. Now I'll put the semi-task back in. Now the task is in place. So I'll highlight four, five, six, and seven. 
in then task puts the semi task back in. So the four days has been added. So it was seven, three plus three plus one is seven, plus the four is 11. So that's working correctly. And all I'm going to do together now is join two and three and seven and eight. So I'm going to reconnect two and three to reconnect them with the link and also seven and eight. And the original duration of the project was 59 days. We added in a brand new four day task. So that gives us a duration of 63 for this example. So we can see what the project summary task does. It gives you the duration and any changes. We've now looked at summary tasks, how they can be minimized one by one or, or many together and also expanded. And also putting a task into a summary task, which personally I would take the summary task away, put the new task in and then reset the summary task. But this now completes the training video on, in this case, looking at the project summary task, how that duration then is affected by any changes to the project, like in this example, where we've modified the advertising summary task. And we've also looked at minimizing and expanding summary tasks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.